All right. So welcome, everyone. And I know we have a number from that were on earlier. And so you get to see, um, and for those that weren't, get to see what we did uh, this morning. And um, and so we're going to have a lot of fun. So if you haven't already, um, if you want to say hi, where you're from in the chat. And um, if you're new to Zentangle or just new to us, we'd love to know that. And uh, say so just, just if you want to. And I'm just going back to see... Okay, <laughs> and so we're having fun in the chat. All right, and oh, and hi, Sky. We'll have you say, I know you're just logging on. Um, so we'll have you turn off your webcam if you don't mind, because I was going to get to that point too. And so the reason that we do that is so that way we, uh, those on small screens can see easy. And then it's just, I can tell you're looking to see where to do that. Oh, there you go. And uh, at the end, for sure, we will have everybody that wants to. Uh, open up the webcams and and share what you have done. So today we're going to do something special. And if you were, I, I think, I can't remember when I had said it at what point. I think it was late, like towards the end when most everybody was off. And um, I, <laughs> I said something about doing um, wait, hearty way bop today because it's before, <laughs> I will say it again. I'm going to say it so that maybe I'll get rid of it. Before Thanksgiving, I was saying <laughs> Get it out of your system, Heather. I'm trying. It's like, it starts with a T. Uh, no, but that has nothing to do with Valentine's Day. Um, Tuesday. Uh, so anyway, I was like, oh, that would be fun. And then mom remind me of her, her step out. So I'm like, well, this is way more important. And what I might do is I might uh, just do a special something. I was, I've been wanting to play with YouTube Live. Or, um, or something. Anyway, I might do something. You might see a surprise note uh, from me tomorrow, you know, if you want to join in. Um, but I, I haven't decided what times I have to look at my calendar. Um, but I was thinking, oh, that could be fun. Or Monday. Some, sometime in between now and then I'll do the, the hearty way bop because it's a neat tangle and, uh, and fun to do. And uh, it'll be, it'll be an extra, extra valentine -y thing. So... Yeah, because I thought it was a much more important, oh, when I see Judy getting on, hi, Judy, um, to showcase, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm laughing at the, <laughs> so, Carla, we miss you, because I know you're going to watch the replay, we miss you, and, and we started this, this, uh, this funny thing a, a while ago when, when you missed. And so now every time Tom tells us that uh, you're not with us, you know, we're going to have some kind of free giveaway, apparently, <laughs> and extra fun, but you know, we love it when you're here because you, because I love seeing both of their work. Oh, uh, so funny. All right. So when we giggle, it's because something is going on with that in the chat. All right. So what I'm going to do for um, uh, for those, I'll see. Morning. Oh, okay. And Sky. Oh, yes. Zentangle is uh, generally freehand. And um, I'm glad you like the giggles because we'll have a lot of that. And um, <laughs> um, and yeah, yeah. Every well, I I say freehand, but sometimes we cheat a little. We collectively. I won't point anybody out. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna share my screen, and we're we're gonna go through this the step outs, and then and I think I still have them on here. Hold on a second. Let me put in the chat really quick. At least, and well, then I can get rid of one thing. Okay. Okay. And I will put links in the chat. That's why I'm going to do that right now. So that way you have them. I will send out a, uh, a recap after, you know, after tonight. I'll, I'll work on it tomorrow. Hopefully have it, you know, out tomorrow night or Saturday. And um, so that way you'll get both replays, all the, you know, the pictures from, uh, from uh, both sessions and, and stuff. So, okay. So the first link is to my step out. The second one, if you're on um, my, uh, if you're subscribed to my blog, which is essentially the the website, you will have gotten this, this, uh, I think I sent it this morning. And let me share my screen. And that has mom step out. We'll show that first, I guess, because I, I did that earlier, so we'll do it again. Um, it's a, it, and this being my website, uh, I am working on filling these uh, 
tangle categories in. So uh, it's a slow process. Um, but you can always, you know, follow me here. And then when I uh, post things like the recaps, you'll get it uh, right off the bat. And then this, where we're introducing a new tangle, Heartfelt by Mom. I should have just put by Mom. So by Sheree. And um, and so as I joked earlier, I, I in my normal uh, course of, and it's not just with, it was Entangle, Mom. That, I, I don't know if I had, oh, I, I'm sure I've told you my joke when I was uh, a B&I director. And my friend Mark, who was a director with me, the joke is, have you rewritten anything lately? And it's like, that's just apparently my thing to do, is to redo other people's stuff and have it, you know. But for this, I needed to have the first step. I, I just was like, I... I could kind of do it, but I wanted to have a, a I just needed to, to pull it apart a little bit. And so I did. And, um, but I'd like to share this because if you, you know, if, if it, this makes more sense to you to do it all in one stroke, feel free, you know, it, it's, it's all fine. And then of course, to see, um, uh, see heartfelt in action here. And then you saw what we have um, earlier. Okay, so here is my step out to it. And I, like I said, I separated out the, um, just a couple of the steps. So what I decided to do was to start with, um, well, you could either call it a, a pair of curved lines or, you know, a, a, an M, an M, a, a two scallop. Two sideways C's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah two two sideways yeah. backwards C's. Oh, or, or a three. It could be a three sideways. Or too. a seagull. Or... Yes. <laughs> it does look like a seagull. I forgot that's how you draw them. Oh, <laughs> with very long wings that are so heavy that they droop over like that. Um, so, so this, yeah, birds. So this, this could go on a, on a string. And as you saw, you know, in, in mom's sample, you know, she... Let's see. Did you kind of you kind of did it in a square sort of, and well, then yeah, I just tried square. to go around, and then the hearts in the middle, I just those were part yeah. of the original design. They I just threw those in to fill in. Yeah, <clears throat> extra decorating. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then so after you so after you have your we'll just call them M's set, however you want them, then we do this. It's it's kind of an S shape coming from the right side of that M and I, well, actually on this step on this page, I didn't do the takeoff and land as well. Although if I did it really well, you wouldn't be able to see it because it'd be the red over the black. Um, but for those new that don't know what that means, it's tracing over a little bit of, you know, where you're coming from. And then the land is where you, you kind of end up. And I'll, I'll show that on when we do it. So starting off with a swoop, and I was working from the bottom to top, but it doesn't matter, you know, however you want to do it. But what I found easy, and the reason I started at the bottom was because then when I do the, the one above it, I can do this S shape and have it land on something. That I just makes perfect sense. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I wish I would have thought of that. <laughs> I was just like I, I just I'm uh, art insecure. <laughs> so I was like, oh, oh, I don't know where to stop. Although I mean, you can kind of see, and then still knowing that it doesn't matter. But I just I wanted to have that structure. Well, I and then, on, on mine when I did it, a lot of them, I had to go back and extend it to make it yeah. touch. I just did it kind of short, and then waited to see where the other one, the next one went. And uh, but your way, hundred percent better. <laughs> yeah thank you um and then on on uh four i think i i split up this one because you had what i have is four and five in one and i and i think i, I don't know if i had missed or I, I you know maybe it's just my eyeballs so i wanted to separate that out so we make sure to see it so we're continuing this m into the heart shape it's just that one little line and then we're going to add some more uh double lines now this one could be all one stroke so we're doing Kind of the the heart shape, um, and then coming down, you know, the side, and then landing somewhere. It could be all the way down in that corner or somewhere above. It's one of those uh, up to you or up to the pen. <laughs> so, most of mine, it seems to be up to the pen in my hand. I have like I have nothing to do with it. It just <laughs> it ends up where it's going to end up. Um, and then we do that down the left side, and then. Next on the right side, now this where, this is where we kind of made a modification. 
So we're going to do a, a, a line coming from, see that top part. Um, and this, I had it coming into the corner. But what we decided is um, because it makes it a little difficult, and you could do it either way, it makes it difficult to do this, the auraing in the next steps. Uh, you know, and it just looks a little bit funny. Um, we decided to just, uh, so you do the line and then kind of complete the heart. So making it kind of a blunt edge. So not at the corner, a little bit away from that corner. Again, that's that's totally up to you. Um, and then we do that down, down the middle. Then we add some auras. And as you can see, what we that last step creates what looks like a fold, like a fold over. And so on the auras for those hearts on the left, we're, we kind of are um, showing that it's uh, like the hollow technique, right? Where we're drawing underneath. So we're essentially drawing underneath this fold, but just by only doing an aura, whoops, oh, that made it bigger. Uh, by doing an aura only on like the, the top and the left side of those ones. But you know, the aura and this part, this part is really play. So you can, you know, or once or twice. We also um, or it on the outside. It didn't matter. Um, yeah, and sky. Yeah. So I, after I'm done with this, then 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 we'll then we'll draw it, and so then we can draw along. I just because we're online, I found it easier to just kind of talk talk through, and everybody has the link, so you could always have it up depending on what kind of device you're on, um, and uh, you know, and then we just go and have fun with it. Um, but so this, these last, you know, couple steps are really the play. And so here um, I, I drew straight lines down, you know, in that, that fold. Okay. Thanks guy. In, in that fold over part. But as you saw on uh, what we were sharing, I drew ones going the other direction. Mom did some, oh no, no, you didn't do orbs that you did orbs in. Uh, in the, um, in the aura. Part. But on, on mine, this one, I just filled it in solid. Okay. Yeah. Well, and so I, we can, yeah, filled it in solid, but with some shading that, you know, rather than any lines at all. Yeah. Oh, it was um, Sandy from Ireland. Uh, it, it, she posted it on the Facebook group and she did orbs down those centers and it looks really, yeah. really neat. So this is the part. And, and so as we're going through it, sometimes we will uh, sidetrack and talk about, you know, decorating and, and stuff like that. Um, so it, it sometimes ends up being a little bit of a mix. And then also shading. And we'll talk about that kind of as we go. All right. So I think that that was it. Yes. And I put both links in there. So you have them. And let me scroll down. Okay. Okay. Oh, let's see. I'm okay. actually going to try it on a, a Zendala. Oh. And the only Ooh. ones I can find are black. So... Ooh. We shall see what happens. I think that will be, I was thinking about doing that on black and Alyssa, you're so funny. Cause I was thinking that and I wasn't saying that, that that's what those M's look like. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, we get a little bit, uh, uh, Rusty. What, yeah, we get something at the evening session. <laughs> well, evening for us, for others, it's, you know, it's not. Oh, the, word my God. Would, the word would be Randy. We get Randy. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, that's that would be a new word for me. Okay, oh, so let's send you the definition. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to work on a Renaissance tile. So mom's going to work on a black tile. This will be fun. And I, let's see. I'll. Oh no. I well, I, debating which which way I want to go first. I'm going to go ahead and use the black first, and I'm going to use a PN. Uh, tip instead of the uh, the O one that I usually use. And okay, so we'll get started. One thing I neglected to mention um, for anyone new, we work on whatever we want to work on. <laughs> Excuse me, as far as tiles go, um, and I think I put that in the description. I'm going to make sure that it's there. I, I, I do have it somewhere. Like grab all of your stuff. So if you want to use color, just anything that might uh, inspire you, make sure to have it handy. Okay, so our first step would be, um, well, if you want to do, uh, ooh, I, mean, I might want to do that. Um, I'm going to do uh, four corner dots, and I'm going to do a border, and, and maybe I'll use it, maybe I won't, but I feel like I want to. 
And then I'm going to do a string line because we talked about using this in a string and having uh, when you're putting the M's down that it could follow the string. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to be daring. <laughs> I'm going to start my string outside of and I'm going to wiggle it a little bit. <laughs> okay. And then <laughs> let's see. And then we'll just put those M's in. And, so and, and like, again, I, I, for whatever reason, I just feel like I, I need to start from the bottom. And this is something, too, where I found doing them bigger than I think, and I'm, I'm hesitating with my pen. Okay, this one is just going to be whatever size it's going to be, since I already have a mark there. I'm and doing then, it in a circle. I don't have an end. <laughs> <laughs> There's no beginning and no end. Oh, no. <laughs> She's going to have to figure it out. So some of the, yeah, for, for, for those that are new, some of this is just a challenge and we, and, and it's a, it's an exercise or no, a demonstration in how there are no such thing as mistakes in Zentangle. And sometimes we get ourselves, it's, it's almost like a sitcom, mom. Yes. <laughs> what will they do next? Oh, no. <laughs> Actually, I'm thinking of uh, Bullwinkle, uh, the cartoon at the middle, um, you know, where they have the two titles. Is it this or? And then they have like the, the alternate title. I'm going to have to come up with some and then we'll use them. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm just going to have to do one, not all the way. And then as I come around. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Uh, so Heather, how far yeah. apart should we think about putting these little bats? <laughs> um. Well, you know, enough enough space because we're gonna sw we're gonna do that S shape. So you want to have a little bit of room to to do that that swoop. And I'm gonna say I have no idea. I'm looking at mine from earlier. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm going to say I have no idea. Well, that I was have it. No All idea. Right, perfect. <laughs> well, at least she's honest. <laughs> yes, that's true. She is. <laughs> we don't know. That's that's why this is exploring the tank. This this, this one, even the earlier session, for sure was exploring. Um, yeah, and look. Well, because we have not going, seen. going, going. <laughs> yeah, she invented it, so she, you know. Oh, that's <laughs> true. She knows what she's doing. That's right. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm looking at. So I did this this uh, smaller section, so you can Love uh, too. see the results. So yeah, so here's the M's in the bigger section. So they're like a good, you know, couple fingers apart, or a finger and a half, or depending on how fat your fingers are, or not. Uh, this one, I'm only speaking for me, uh, is about a, you know, a, you know, a fat pinky width apart or look at, or a pen. You know, you so I don't think it's going to matter except, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't, mean, I, like on this one, I did the, I'm in three different sizes. Oh yeah. You know, so the spacing and how big or small they are just didn't really matter. Changes but, how, how the whole thing looks. So. Right. All right. I'm waiting for that top M so I know where to draw it. <laughs> or back. <laughs> well, you're blurry. Oh, me. Did it clear up? Yeah. There we go. Yep. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, the earlier session, boy, it just did not want to be. It was it was beforehand, and luckily it straightened itself out before, but uh, okay. So once so I have these gorgeous birds flying up this string. It's like they want to land. It's like the uh, like um on the electric lines. <laughs> Okay, so then, oops, I moved, moved my moved my step out. Okay, so once you have these, and again, I'm going to start at the bottom. And the whatever your last one is, um, I, you know, I try to at least pretend like there's one underneath because what we want to do ultimately is we're going to take that S outside of the M, so it's going to kind of swing around, almost like you're auraing around it. So this one, I'm just. And it's like, well, I just have to make it up there. Okay, so, so then the Sharon one... needs to turn her camera oh. off, but I think oh, she might hi, be looking to see to do where to do it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I can. Oh, she got it. Okay, got it. she got it because I was going to get it. All right. Okay, and so and then as I'm going on these other ones, now mine's going to be a little bit of a will be interesting. 
because I've decided mm-hmm. to not have them in a straight line. Right, because that one, and the same thing in a circle, that you have to kind of swoop way out where you, you yeah, know, which is kind of fun. Yeah. And so the takeoff and land idea, you know, so I'm going to trace a little bit over this side of the M. So that way, and, and work to not have a little bump. Oh, I still ended up with one anyway, but that's okay. That's okay. There are course corrections for that. Yeah, and this one is going to have to go way over. Like that. So we're just, you know, leaving a, a little bit, uh, well, the space you leave here will kind of determine that, um, you know, this part. But it's all okay. And that's where, you know, yes, I'm doing this right. You know, having fun with it like this, and then we're exploring all kinds of extra options. No, that looks kind of nice. <laughs> and thank you. Yes, we are a show of art. I had somebody on the YouTube. It was one of the early ones that I had posted. And that's what they said is that we should uh, go. You should have our own show. I said, like, this is it. Okay. So once you have those, then we're going to kind of complete that first heart, whatever's on your, on. well, uh, well, I guess if you don't have one on top, how did you, uh, how are you doing this? I don't know. <laughs> well, when I come oh, down and when I do that inside swoop, it will complete all of these. Yeah. Well, because like this first one, so if you just did them in a line, the first one, we're just, you know, taking that over and. You know, like wait, this and wait, making a wait, wait. Um, Heather? Yeah. I got booted off. Is there any way you could show a swirl again how you did it? I'm sorry. Swirl. I missed, like that the thing that goes off the S shape. This here? Okay. So you start at the like bottom corner of one of them. Yeah, so I started just... at the bottom. Okay. Yeah, well, this one didn't complete. And then making this S shape so that way I have something for this one to land on. So, so I'm tracing over the M a little bit. And then it's, as you can see, it's just like a, a elongated S shape. And then it or, connects to the other one in the middle of its body, so to speak. Yeah, somewhere in there. Okay. And it's just a, you know, kind of wherever it lands. Okay. But yeah, you, we just want to make sure that we're swooping away from the, you know, the M below and leaving some kind of space. Mm. And that's okay. And the size of the swoops is up to you. Is that right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And that's where, um, you know, we, we try it once and then we go, oh, I think I'll do this differently or okay. that differently next time. And um, I've caught up to you now. Thank you. I'm sorry. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> or okay. maybe there won't be a next time. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is on my nemesis list. And that's so. <laughs> yeah, that okay. was last week. Okay. Oh, all right. So then the next is a set. Actually, after you have these these big S shapes done, and completed that top part, if you have a top, and I want to say if you didn't have a top, then uh, well, because you would just have all of these connections. So you would just start with the next step, which would be, and I have a challenge with it. Well, you know what though, oh, I'm going to do what I was thinking about. I'm going to I'm going to do mine a little bit different than the step out. Because what I was having trouble with is having them. Oh, well, let me show on here. Right, it's hard having them got to be like standing up or. Right, you don't you don't really want to start them right in that corner. You want to get it a little bit more rounded or something. A little a little away from it. If you because I was thinking I wanted to have them kind of go all the same way, but then at the same time I was like, well, we don't have to have them all pointing up like this. They could no. point out to the side a little bit. So that's what I'm going to, I think I'm going to do that on this one. Because I was trying to put it in the corner because that's where it looked. But yeah, you don't have to do it right in the corner, especially well, depending on how far in the corner is. But if you decide to, and I'm, I'm hesitating because I'm just, I'm like, oh. well, now wait a minute. Now let me just, I'm going to do however it comes out of my hand. Are we supposed to do the other side the same as the first side we did? No. No. Okay. All right. <laughs> no. Yeah. And, and and now I see why you wouldn't want to do it this way. But see, in that upper corner, Heather, 
just uh, make a little triangle right there. Here? Round, yeah, that, Here. no, Here. Yep, there, no, nope, not there. Coming Here. down, there. See, if just finish that other side of the heart, closer, so it looks like a better shape heart. Nope. <laughs> oh, and for, for, the, for this heart? Yes, but the right-hand side, no, think of the, that's the left-hand um, side. Okay. The right-hand like side, yeah. as it goes down, just round that a little more so it looks like a better shape. So down right here on this line? Yes. See that we make it that little triangle a little bigger so it it's more oh. rounded. Take out that point that you got there. Yes, yay! Why are you there? there? <laughs> this is called a course correction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so, well, and so, and let's see. And so the next, the, the next one. Well, and Heather, you... we need to see it again from the start. Wait, let, me, <laughs> let me pause it. Well, yeah. and I want to know, Heather, if the line that you drew, was that all pencil? Because I drew mine in ink and I got an ink thing going through my oh, words. No. It's, it's no, supposed it's to be pencil. all in ink. <laughs> well, then, then, yeah, with Bud, you know, then we'll just figure it out from there. It was supposed to you be know, pencil, I, right? Yeah, this, this was in pencil. So I did like we would do in a right, traditional, right, 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 right. right. Yeah. Change yep. computers midstream. So. Okay. Yeah, and it's well, yeah, and it is, it's uh, you can see it's faint there. It will, I'll, work it out. I'll work it out. Okay, well, you know, um, I, I, I even have to go out. back and look at the step outs, so that, yeah. that might help is to go back and look at the look at the step yeah. outs. Well, I and, and I'm do that. thinking ahead, um. It's you know you can we can you can add it into to part of your decoration. So um, at, well as we finish, then it, it might present itself uh, how you how you might be able to do that. And um, and I was like, I'm gonna let's see. And so I because I've done my little hearts coming out to the side here, which uh, oh and Heather, you know, well we'll we'll talk about this when you're when you're there <laughs> when I'm done. Oh you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna oh so this is what I'm gonna. I'm gonna do. Well, let's see. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm making a mishmash, and that's fine. Okay, that's the way it should be. And I kind of like that. But these, I'm gonna, I'm gonna round these corners, like you said, so that way, and I'm gonna be a little bit more. Yeah. So it looks more like a heart. And then just fill those in. Yep. <laughs> what's funny is like, and no, I, I I don't do these things on purpose. It just happens, and that's what happens. Well, in and and that's the problem with um. It's not a problem. That's um, that's the fun part. Right is a you must have heard me when I when you said problem, and I went no, no, it's not, <laughs> no, a, problem. It's not a problem. It's a um, challenge. That's the uh, if you're doing it, other than I mean the the step outs are in a straight line. If you're right. doing it in another shape other than that, parts of it you have to approach differently. Right. And I will explain something that I'm doing, doing it in a circle, that I found out was easier there. when you get to the other side. Okay. All right. So I'm just yeah, filling it out. I can, different. I can finish filling these in later. Okay. Okay. So, well, because I'm doing so it right. in a circle, right. I found. You know, I, the first one I started on the side of a heart and then came down and so it touched uh -huh. the other curve and then came down straight. But I found what what's easier for me doing it in a circle is if I start at the bottom, oh. finish this heart, oh. and then just swoop it up. Oh, okay. And I don't know if it'd be easier. You might try it on yours, even though it's straight, especially if you're doing that straight bottom that we talked about mm -hmm. yeah because so yeah oh, in yeah, the step out the heart and then that i like that because what i so, so what what i the way i was doing it earlier the way we were doing it earlier was coming down let me get my thing in there we go coming down from here pulling off at some point to uh trace over this part of the, the top of that heart right and then yeah. 
but and then right. finish the heart this way. So it's just right. doing it in a more logical manner, I think. Right. And it's much easier to do that straight down than it is to try and make well, you make a wonky kind of shaped heart if you do it try to make that straight. swoop come down into a point down there. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it, but if if that's the look that one is going for, then one could certainly do that. Yes. <laughs> Or if one forgets and just does it that way, that's okay right, too. Right. Yeah. So so down, so I started at the bottom. So I completed that heart, and then, like she said, then I'm gonna still tracing over part of it, so that way you get that continuity from the um, takeoff and land concept. Yeah, and then come and have it merge into the uh, the partial heart above, and then it's rinse and repeat as you go, but then like, because everyone is a little bit different, which is kind of neat. Well, that ended up weird, but that's okay. Yeah, and then you could decide, well, how far do you want that to go? And it does end up looking like a ribbon, unless you, like I said, unless you put, you know, vertical or, no, oh, oh, no, that would be horizontal lines in it, then it looks like a earthworm. I like this yeah, idea. See, it's, it's, it's easier to just, and you're doing, you're making your hearts look even more hearty than, than I did, which is good. Hearty, hearty, yeah. hearty, hearty. I like, I like the way the bottom, you know, kind of flares out because you're making it a heart. I love yeah. it. Yeah. I could put the, be mine. <laughs> so did, so did you complete your hearts there? Is that what you did? Yeah, so here, yeah. so completing the heart first. Yeah. And then, um, and then it's almost like two separate, two separate strokes. So completing the heart and then doing and the then swoop. Doing the squirrel. Okay. Right. Yeah, up above. Yeah. I gotcha. Yeah. Well, like I said earlier, we were doing it all, we were like starting up here, coming down, and then making. The but heart. I don't even want to know how you were doing it before because this way makes sense and you'll. Good. Confused I, I, and, and looking at it, Heather, you oh. another way to do it would be to that swooping line. If yeah. you wanted to make it look more like a ribbon, you could start at the um, uh, the crevice of the heart at the top. No, yeah. Down one, down, down the first heart on the right hand side. That one, yeah. This one. You could you could start it where it dips down at the top of the heart. Okay. And, and then kind of aura the whole heart. No, on the outside, make it aura the whole outside of that heart, and then uh -huh. yes, like that, and come down to the next. Oh. Uh -huh. You know what? You still could do that, couldn't we? If we wanted to, we could because it could then be like a fold in the in the ribbon. Yes, that too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me make. Sure. We're, okay. we're really confusing some of these people. Yes, yeah, sorry, no, sorry, not sorry, not no, just really, kidding. but <laughs> sorry, yeah. but not really. Yeah. <laughs> this is the exploring part and having fun with it. Um, but but at this point, really, the tangle part is done and it's the decorating right so because they don't have to aura i mean i did it no. online as part of it but it you don't have to and i think that that looks really neat i mean not just the way it is it's like you've made a heart wreath yes if you say so <laughs> oh oh it's kind of so yeah so um <laughs> <laughs> we're we're kind of both teaching at the same time. Let me if I need to, I can go back and and redo. I have no problem. We can do that as we if that will help. Because it's we, all right. I think I've caught up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. Yeah. And I should have explained that. Yeah. I I, I probably started to and then distracted myself. Um, but yeah. So we kind of both both do at the same time, and that can be confusing. And I tried to mention that at the beginning, so that way everyone knows because I did have a couple people in the past that have said oh, it was really confusing having too many people so yeah but don't yeah but let me know if, you, if I need to go back I am more than happy to go back I will I'm totally happy to do that and so the decorating ideas are things like this like aura ink so as you see mom is doing aura ink on the inside of those hearts 
And to aura is basically is an outline, or as I joke, an inline if you're doing it inside. And um, and then we can have, you know, you can have fun with that. Also doing it on the outside. What I'm, I'm going to take that suggestion, Rob, and I'm going to, I'm going to do, I think, yeah, why not? I'm going to do this part. So I'm just coming up with an aura here. And where did we say we could go? Oh, we could go. I, I have it partway done here. Right to there. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm going to do, yeah, right to oh, there. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. And Cheryl, how, Sherry, how, yes. when you did your circle, did you just start out with all the M's in a circle? I did, but what I did was, um, I have scribbles on the back of this, but I like I did one over here and then turned it so I was 45 degrees, you know, oh. did one here. Oh. And did one here. Oh, and so right. I sort of got them evenly spaced, and then I came back and did one in between each one. Oh, very so clever. That, but I kept That's turning, a good idea. I, yeah, I kept turning it so that they would all kind of go in the same direction. Okay. I didn't Thank cheat you. and get out my little circle and pencil mark where they go. Right. But that's very helpful how you have the direction of the ease change also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. And, and even that, the spacing's not perfectly great. Like one over here, my one swoopy thing touches the top of the hearts, but it doesn't. It doesn't really matter. It's not that noticeable. Yeah. And when we go to to this kind of what we call the decorating phase, a lot of times what I like to do is if I've made mental notes or at least take a look and say, okay, well, where where am I not happy with and um, and then I can start there. So that could be, um, and I think, well, actually I did a better job this time um, than last time. Because what I did last time, I had a lot of little uh, uh, tags, I guess I would call them, where I, you know, started and stopped and I, they weren't lined up very good. So I, with a thicker pen, just went around the whole outside of those and it fixes it. And then it ends up looking kind of neat. And so this, like I said, here I've just decided to do this aura. Now I don't know where I want to go from there, but well, when I don't know where I want to go, then uh, I do. I'll do what I know I want to do, which is to I'm going to aura these. And I, I do want to make a mention. So because this is kind of like a fold over the um, this swooping part or this ribbon that we were referencing that's kind of going down the middle. So on these hearts on the left side, I'm going to essentially aura, but I'm going to start at that ribbon. Let me just do so that way you can see, you know, and stop at the ribbon. So that way it looks like the rest of it is tucked in. We'll never know. It's folded over. Let's see. I'm looking at uh, Sky. Oh, okay. Oh, well, neat, Sky. She's going to do it on a rock with, with dot painting. Very cool. Well, and it's in Hillary's turned into, yeah, to a bit of a, uh, of a mess. You know, what, what's, what's interesting is a lot of times I think that mine look a bit like a mess. It, but then if we f kind of figure out how we can, um, if it's a deck, if it's decorating by, Say auraing and filling things in. That's one way to to kind of uh, unmess it. That's going to be my word. And like here, where I'm just bringing in these corners and adding this this darkness um, filling in, just to make these hearts a little bit more hearty looking. And I think I will aura the inside of this. You're making hearty hearts because you live in Michigan and you have to be hale and hearty. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, and you know, well, maybe not so much here. It's that you could, depending on how these hearts turned out, you could do something similar. So, like, um, and I think when on um, when you had yours, when you had this middle part going to the point, some of them you had the aura just kind of um, 
like a partial, kind of like these. Yeah. And so that's always an option. Because yeah, you can't make a whole heart unless you make it real little. But the ones right. like you're doing now, I did a whole a whole heart. Right. And if something like that ends up a little bit weird, unmess. No, unmess. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa said clean. Well And not weird, whimsical. Well, yeah, it's whimsical. Or if it oh no, rustic. That's the other that's the other word that I will end up using. And so, like, I'm not really completely liking these inside hearts that I'm doing. So I'm thinking, well, as I'm doing them, I may, uh, I think I shall fill them in. Oh, and gosh, I had decided I was going to use some color on this, and then I didn't. So. Well, now is your chance. Well, except. This, because I, I did the outline in black, I have to kind of fill it in in black. But I can add the, I was going to do um, red or, I think it was a burgundy-ish color. And so now I can fix this heart. There we go. Oh, and actually, oh, I think I'm going to do this. I did this before, because on my, my M's, the, the inside part, comes in i make it too long sometimes so i'm going to connect it here and then i'm going to connect it on all the other ones to be consistent and let's see yeah our uh i'm not sure to put i always have trouble with, with um art artist artisanal <laughs> arts and rim. yes um Oh, and that looks neat. Putting those scallops on the outside like that, that looks really, really neat. And actually, let's see, I'm looking, well... Now to play with my color pens. Yeah. Oh, and so, okay, I've got one filled in. Okay, I guess I'm going to do all of these filled in. And then that's the other part of course correcting, in my opinion anyway, is when you find something... And you're like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to fix this. Like here, I filled it in. I connected this line because it was pretty much connected as it was anyway. And then the trick is to, to do it with the other one. So that way it's like, oh, I meant to do it that way. Nobody knows but us. It's our secret. Like, you know, magicians don't tell their secrets and neither do tanglers, except we'll just to each other. Hey, sure, Cherie, that looks to me like a Polish pot pottery pattern oh it it's sort of yes it could yeah. be that uh -huh. i'm polish so i see oh. a lot of that <laughs> <laughs> beautiful all right let's get this and then some of the um just to mention some of the other decorating ideas would be you know in any in any section either filling in if drawing lines one direction or the other um gosh any you know uh any small tangle that, that if you know you know the other tangles that you want to what might want to put in you could i'm going to do orbs in these but i'm going to do them in the red that i was thinking of oh that's right i dropped my I filled in one swatch thing and my pen stopped working <laughs> oh no i guess i'll have to do it in a different color uh. and hope this is a juicier pen <laughs> All right, so then of course, I, I have my colored open. pencils. I could do oh. that too. All right, let me do this somewhat quickly because I'm looking at the time. It's like we 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 had too much fun explaining. Well, exploring. So I'm doing orbs. I think I'm gonna fill them in the background of them with the black, I think. So if you're doing um again, you know, for those that are new to Zentangle. When we fill in orbs like this, it's we try to fill in, you know, the entire space, you know, kind of top to bottom. Um, we call them orbs because circle uh, is just too precise, too much pressure. But then filling in the background, which I'll do that in a, in a moment. And I do want to share some shading ideas, too. So that way. All right. So here... 
feel like I need to do that in the black. Let me just so that way you can see what it looks like. Then I'll finish the I'll finish these other ones at some point. Now the trick here is trying to fill it in, but leaving not going over the red that I just put in. So that way you can see it. Uh, just an FYI, we can't really see what you're doing, Heather. Oh, am I off? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right. Oh, is, is that important? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> well, what's funny is that it was like pushed away from myself instead of oh, usually. Only sometimes, <laughs> Sheree, only sometimes. <laughs> well, and you know, and sometimes you forget um, and, 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 at certain mm -hmm. angles and stuff, your hand gets in the way, but sometimes there's nothing much you can do about that. Yeah. And just because Heather goes off and just has such a good time that she forgets something. Just get in the zone. <laughs> um, well, and I tilted my camera, so it, so it looks, uh, it ends up looking misshapen because I have it tilted so that way you can always see the, see the tip of my hand. Um, or tip of the pen through my hand. We know what we mean. Okay, yes. so here's some shading, some shading thoughts. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the earlier one. So on these centers, I'm going to put some graphite on either side. We'll see how this turns out now that because I did it a little bit differently. We'll just do these two. That way you can see. And then with the tortilla. Come here, Tortillon. They like to run away. Um, and I'm going to be all oh, ever so careful because this, these tan tiles of ours are just kind of on the fragile side. And we'll see if this is even how oh, I'm seeing it curve a little bit. So I'm bringing in the graphite just a little bit, trying to stay away from the middle as much as I can. But also because I'm using a tan tile, I have the luxury of being able to... Um, put in the white charcoal pencil. Let me make mine bigger and see if I can see if it's done anything. I'm going to have a lot. Oh, look at that. Let me turn it the right way. Wow. Look at that. Neat. And then if you are working on a tone tile and have, you know, a white charcoal, then, and I'm going to start with just doing a little line carefully down the middle. Oh, that makes it extra shiny. It does indeed. And then, because these guys are tucked in underneath, I'm going to put some graphite on the outside. And I'm going to figure out how I want to color them later. Because <laughs> that's what I do. Since I was more, well, more, more yapping and having fun. And tangling slower then. And so here, I like to go a little bit darker, so that way it pushes this down a little bit. And I'm bringing out the graphite just a bit. And, oh, you can see. So it's, it's almost like it's casting a shadow on those. And let me do this. I'll even do this down here where I haven't tangled yet. And this, especially for those, um, let's say if you're new, just give some good ideas for how to do this in general. Oh, and I didn't even aura that one yet. And just, you know, I, oh, sorry. This never gets old. These, they, <laughs> just, it looks like it's a, some, like it's something that I stuck on the page. It does. That's just bizarre. It is amazing. <laughs> it's just, it's like, wow. Yeah. You can, and then comparing it to, well, this I haven't shaded yet because I didn't put in the black, but that's just, that's just magic. It's just so cool. And, you know, and even if you were using, because I think we talked about it a little bit, uh, if you're using a white, white paper and you happen to have, you know, a white charcoal pencil or, you know, and I'm going to dare say you could probably use a white colored pencil also or a jelly roll. And when you just, you add that line right up the center it it kind of works the same with any of those with the, the white charcoal you have the privilege of being or the ability not privilege the ability to um, be able to um, 
move it around like you would the graphite. That's the only advantage to using a you know the charcoal or chalk pencils. But um, yeah, that has turned out neat. And then, like I said, you know, coloring, filling in. Um, we can also, I'm going to show the one from earlier. Um, I decided to aura around the whole design. And then, and then after I did it once, I decided to add this little shoot coming out the side. And I aura that once because, again, just doing things consistently. And... And then I said, well, then I'm going to order the whole thing so it ties it all together. And I'm going to add some, some other stuff. For instance, uh, why not just do it now? Um, you know, we can add other, other elements like, where do I want to add it here? Well, maybe I'll, I don't know what I'm going to do over. I'm going to have to do the same thing over here because my line went this way. Well, let me do this here because I think it'd be fun. Uh, we were calling them uh, fancy fescues, but it's just a, you know... So especially for those if you're new. Just like a curve line that comes back on itself and then we fill in. And then we can have those crisscrossing going whatever direction. Not sure where I want to have one. Oh, maybe I have one coming off of here. Like that. See, this adds some neat character to anything. And I just left a little gap on the bottom so it looks like a you know like a shine and then so I can still go back. That's so you don't have to go back and add a white <laughs> it looks really cute. It gives it a dimension. Yeah. Yeah. So that if you don't have a white jelly roll you can you could certainly do that. And I think I'm gonna I'm not sure what I'm gonna color in on those, but I did like the idea of uh kind of going back and auraing the whole thing. But I might just add some, add another string of these coming out this way. And when you want to do that, it's just a matter of placing those, you know, the the M's or whatever, however you want. And then, you know, follow the steps. And it just, you just get to decide, well, how do you want to connect it, um, you know, when it, when it comes to um, fitting in here. All right. So I want to see what everybody has done in whatever state that they that they're in, and um, I'm still I'm being amazed by that. So if you know what this it looks like, I don't think it's cool to make something look realistic. And me not being you know non artist, it's just you know I watch it in awe of what other people do, and it's like oh, it's just neat when it happens. All right, yeah. So if you want to open up your webcams. And let me also, while everybody's opening up, I'm going to put my email in the ch in the chat. So that way, if you just want to email me afterwards, I'll try to get everybody's, of course. Um, Heather at Tangle. And um, that way, when I put them, I'll make a, like a, whoops, a gallery of them. And we'll, uh, I'll put them in the recap. But sometimes it's nicer to have a, uh, have it sent in so you can see it better. And and Sky, that looks amazing. Love that. Oh, and Tom. Uh, Joyce, I love yours. And Jen added the cheesecloth. Sharon's look. Oh, these are all so, so neat. No, wait, now who who did the who had the pen that they started? Oh, wow. Who had the pen line? Oh, or was that Sky? Yeah, and actually, it looks cool. You, when you fill in those hearts, you can't see it. Yeah. Please, please take the picture soon. <laughs> <laughs> please, please. My uh, arm is going to fall off. All right. Is everybody, I'm going to guess everybody's on that wants to get on. All right. Taking it in a sec. One. Hold a city. Okay. I got it. These are gorgeous. Okay. So you can take them down and then let oh, me paste you. it. And um, gosh, there um, the colors are neat. Like I, I like the blue and green comment you did. That's just so neat. And then hold on, let me share my screen again, so that way everybody can see everybody. Since it's hard to see when you're, where is it? There it is. Okay, sharing. Oh, that looks gorgeous, mom.
Well, I don't, I don't really like it, but um, I mean, I, I like just, it, but the pens, I wish I would have used uh, like colored pencils instead oh. or something. And I don't have uh, what I need handy. Look at these. And Jay, I like how you did your on the side like that. They can't. Those those came out. Those came out really nice. I have to fine tune mine at the base. Mate, well, however more I can. Um, oh, I think I can. But so nice. Just look at these. All you know, different ideas. You know, the coloring. Um, I like the like Tom's. I like the the little heart in the border. So. You know, Filling in with, with some shape and then filling in the background, it makes it pop. Wow, 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 wow. Neat, neat. Yeah, and I, I'm thinking... I, oh, go ahead. Oh, I'm saying I, I, I really need, like, my um, brush pen to do, okay. but I'm just doing some kind of, like, hash marks for, for shading. Okay. But they're well, so wet that the, the jelly roll made the paper so wet, oh. it, it doesn't want to let me uh, do anything over it. Hey, oh. Heather, is yeah. it Jen? Jen, who is in the bottom left corner? Yeah, Jen. That's gorgeous with that cheesecloth behind yeah, it. Yeah, that's so pretty. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I love that cheesecloth for... Yeah, for backgrounds. There's some other ones too, but it just looks so neat. Jennifer H, right? Yeah. And I like Alyssa's. I have to look at Alyssa's. Look at how now how hers oh, yeah, are exactly. Wait, yeah. I have to find her. I find it's her. In the, oh, it's in the this one. It's the one that looks I like, like Joyce's. Yeah, I like them all. I like Sky. <laughs> she did a green one this morning. I think wasn't she on this morning and did a. Uh, Guys, you're in the it was beautiful. it was really pretty. Yeah. Wow. The These Diane. So I like her name, the Diane. That yes. was beautiful too. Yeah. My goodness. Gosh. The Diane. It's you know, we're uh Storm, you were asking about, you know, how close together and look at Shulamites down there on the red paper. Oh it, yeah. And yeah. so look at how neat it can look. It doesn't matter how far oh, apart. Yeah. Yep. And um and it actually looks like you it me, it looks like you turned it into kind of like an organic one, you know, where it's just kind of growing on itself. Uh -huh. um, yeah, definitely. I like Carla's yeah. too. And Tom's. Just Tom's. Nice. Carla's not here. Yeah. Oh, just no. Tom. We did too. Oh, they're very nice. <laughs> Peter. <laughs> we'll, we'll, see, we'll see her makeup one later. <laughs> they're, yeah, Joyce they're just is awesome. That's so pretty. Oh, oh, and then there's this lady, Cherie. I really like her round. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at Zelda. I like her name, Zelda. So Zelda, sure. that was my mother's name. Oh, really? <laughs> I haven't met any other Zeldas recently. No, the only Zelda I know of is in a game. <laughs> and Mary Ann, it looks like, I was, I'm trying to see, it looks like you did orbs in, in what we were calling the ribbon part in that center. And that makes it look like um, like a pathway or something. Thanks, Tom. Tell Carla we missed her. <laughs> um, but that looks really neat to having those orbs there. It, it makes me think of, you know, the yellow brick road or something if they were done in yellow. But, um, well, Zelda, I, you know, I, I'm with you. I don't know because I work slow. <laughs> I work slower than, uh, yeah, I get, you know, well, to get it. Heather and I should be able to do it a little faster because we already did it once today. And actually, I did one Good. this morning in preparation because uh, being my tangle, I should be able to do it fairly well. But you would think a but. lot of you put me to shame. <laughs> oh well, yeah, and, and um, who's it said? Uh, yeah, I like the little the zingers in uh, in Kim's too. Yeah, any of those the, the, those uh, organic things like that where they have the long stem. Actually, um, what was the one I really liked it? I, I don't know. It wasn't called windmill. I don't think it just um, maybe it was windflower or something. But uh, just gorgeous, and yeah, they just add such character to it and you know what um sky thinking of yours you know see with that the the 
um, the line, the pencil or the ink line going through, you can have some of those uh, uh, fescues coming right off of those, and then it would be disguised. If you know, as otherwise, it looks like a. I mean, it just looks part of it, and it doesn't. Uh, it looks. I think it looks cool. So neat. I was just pulling your one. <laughs> do you do this weekly? Yes, yes. I, I have. This is the second. So I do it. I, I'm in. We're in Michigan, so I'm doing it at 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. my time. And we do the yeah, same. Thing. I think one of them was all the Zentangle ones. I'm in Australia. All the Zentangles here are usually in America, and they're like at 2, 3 a.m. So normally I can't make them, but then I noticed oh. there was this other one, which is perfect. So I can do oh, this good. time every time this is for you. This is 11 oh. o'clock in, in Australia in the morning. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, we do have some others. I don't think um, Vanessa is on. And actually, let me say goodbye to the recording. Um.